Okay, so y equals negative absolute value of x plus 1 minus 2. If I die, remember, our general form, f of x equals the absolute value of mx plus b plus c. And to find the vertex, which is the first thing we want to do, we're going to take the opposite of b over m, comma, c. So, in this particular problem, my value of m, that's the number right in front of the x, is 1. My value for b is right here, that's also 1. And my value for c, which is the number hanging off the end of the absolute value, is minus 2. I'm going to take those three numbers, plug them into my vertex formula, and that will give me the vertex of this absolute value function. So the vertex turns out to be opposite of b over m, well the opposite of 1 is negative 1, over m 1, comma c, that's negative 2. So my vertex is the point negative 1, negative 2. So I'm going to draw a coordinate plane. And I'm going to start by plotting my vertex. Negative 1, negative 2. And I'm going to draw my axis of symmetry through that point. Again, this is the point negative 1, negative 2. And the equation of the axis of symmetry, by the way, in this case, is x equals negative 1. Now I'm going to make a table of values, but again, I want to choose wisely for my values of x. Since the vertex is at x equals negative 1, I don't want to go choosing a value really far to the right of that or really far to the left of that. It makes sense to stay close to the vertex. So I'm going to start off with x being 0. When x is 0, 0 plus 1 is 1. The absolute value of 1 is 1, but if the opposite has negative 1, minus 2, I get negative 3. So 0 comma negative 3 is right here. Using the axis of symmetry, if the point 0, negative 3 is on this graph, then the point negative 2, negative 3, must also be on the graph. The next point value I'm going to choose is 1. When I plug 1 into the function, I get 1 plus 1 is 2. Absolute value of 2 is 2. The opposite of that is negative 2. Minus 2 is negative 4. So I get 1, negative 4. So I plot that point. 1, negative 4 is right here. And using the axis of symmetry again, if 1, negative 4 is on this curve, then negative 3, negative 4 is also on the curve. Once I have my vertex, two points to the left and two points to the right, I can now draw my graph. Notice the initial value outside the absolute value was a negative. When I see a negative number outside this absolute value, that is going to show us that our absolute value function is going to open downward, which indeed this one does.